do three, start recording, and Hi, I'm Mrs. Melanin. And I'm Belief Mel. And we're here with episode 22 of How How Married Married Are Are You? You? Okay. What'd you guys think of our new intro? Did you like that? For those of you watching. Yeah. Right? Oh, just go ahead and shout this out. We have a YouTube channel. Yes. Now, uh, so you can watch every single episode of How Married Are You? We launched that last week. And I love the YouTube channel because you can see some of the weird quirks that we have and um, some of the reactions that we that you don't really get to hear, but you see it. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? On the <laughs> it YouTube took channel. It a while to register. Yeah, sorry. I might have said a lot. No, no, no. That was good. So follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. It's How Married Are You? Uh, for those of you who haven't done it yet. And it's like a sister channel to Belief in Fatherhood. And I'm glad that we have that. And you should be sharing it with your sister, your brother, your mama, your grandma, your daddy, your cousins, everybody, your friends, your church, all them peoples. Yeah, because we talking up a storm. (laughs) (laughs) Talking up a storm. There you go, babe. Chocolate baby story time. You go. You said you got one. I have one. Okay, go. So this one is kind of like one of those, I'm going to puff my chest up and like brag on my kid real quick. Okay. Um, but the other day, Theo and Anaya were fighting over Iron Man. Okay. The, Anaya kind of feels like the action figures that the boys have are her babies. Sometimes mm. you'll oh, catch yeah, her that's right. putting the um, action figures in her stroller <laughs> and just strolling them around <laughs> instead of her actual babies. It's kind of cute, but it's funny because the boys are like, I want my stuff. Yeah. Anyways, Theo and Anaya were literally having a tug of war, a tug of war. And eventually, Theo being the big brother that he is, he allowed Anaya to win this tug of war. And he was butthurt about it, and she was all prideful about it, but, you know, it was all good and gravy. Uriah sees all of this happening, and he has his little Spider-Man, and he goes up to Anaya, and he's like, here, Anaya, you want this? And she, like, enthusiastically wants it. He takes Iron Man back, and she's like, forget about Iron Man, I got Spider-Man, and he gives it to his brother. Dang. It was... <laughs> It was the most beautiful transaction that I had seen all week. Yeah. It was so sweet. I just. The art I, of distraction. Yes. That's really good. They know they do that all the time. They always like try to, you know, distract the night with another shiny bright toy so that they can get back whatever they want. <laughs> but the way that Uriah used that method this time was just really sweet. He was problem solving and he made his brother and his sister happy. And that is classic middle child behavior well that's you know it's crazy uh another chocolate baby story time i guess <laughs> oh no but this act- don't discount my story. no, no i'm not Let discounting Raya your story his- i'm just saying okay. that the crazy thing is that theo used to do that to raya all the time he used to do some old switcheroo type mm-hmm. like let me trade you <laughs> and keep your stuff forever Theo still does that to raya yeah he's like you know and so raya is definitely like a team player yeah. theo's like yo what about me what about me uh we went up to uh Huntington Beach and I said something to Theo or I said something to Ryan and I was like man I'm proud of you he did something and it was something that Ryan normally doesn't do and Theo but go, goes dad mm-hmm. but are you proud of me and it was like one of those things where I was like bro I'm not proud of you I'm proud of you but I'm not really talking to you you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm talking to Uriah yeah. and Theo was like very dis- disappointed because you know I didn't tell him I was proud of him but he didn't do anything at that moment. Um, but he's always doing stuff, and I tell him I'm proud of him. But he thinks that when we don't say it to him, it's discounting him or something like that, mm-hmm. which isn't the truth. But the crazy thing is we do that to God all the time. When mm-hmm. we see our friends promoted, we you see would. our friends mm-hmm. come through and elevate yeah. themselves. We're kind of like, Lord, what about me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why we should just be happy for our friends who are winning, celebrate was it Melanin 2K19 Celebration? What is it? What's the hashtag? <laughs> Melanin Celebrate 2K19. All right. <laughs> Get it right, man. Okay. I actually, that actually brings up, I want to quote it correctly because my little brother, who is wise in his own vein, is that the word, way I, you say it? Um, he posted something today and it really registered with me. He said, um, don't be envious, be inspired. And I was like, 
goodness mm. gracious alive yeah that was good for me to read because i've been seeing a lot of people doing things and i'm like i just don't understand like good for you but when like why isn't it my time mm. coming and so yeah be inspired that was kind of like a um that quote or his words kind of reminded me to celebrate like mm. our word for the year is to celebrate so celebrate other people's successes and then just be inspired by it like be like keep on pushing yeah yeah i'm really i'm really inspired right now so you so. convicted me just now when you did that whole parallel sorry thanks no i don't apologize um <laughs> words of affirmation uh someone hit us up recently mm -hmm. uh and this is a good friend of mine he is um he belongs or is a part of an organization called p4cm passion for christ movement and they uh our organization that's very near and dear to my heart because they they were like the first real supporters of belief in father who mm -hmm. got behind our yeah, channel early true. on um and he called in to just give us some words and it really means a lot to me just because ad is just such a sweet guy mm -hmm. and um He's uh, inspiring, and, and their whole team is inspiring. So uh, here are the words of affirmation. What we're going to do right here is go back. What's up, Yvette and Belief? Uh, Glenn. <laughs> this is AD. Uh, I'm a big fan of you guys. Uh, love the podcast. Love listening. You guys are, you guys so, are entertaining. so entertaining, so entertaining. Um, and informative. Keep up the good work, y'all. Don't stop. The body needs you guys, man. The public needs you as a whole. Black people need y'all. Stand strong. And you don't stop to the beat, y'all. And you don't stop a freak freak, y'all. And you don't stop to the beat, y'all. And you don't stop a freak freak. Yeah. Shout out to AD um, and the P4CM whole staff, my, my home girl. Adrienne over there uh, Thank you guys for all you do And thank you for those words of affirmation Make sure to follow us on Instagram At How Married Are You Really important because you can also send us Encouraging words through the voice memo app If you DM, if you DM us uh, Not through the voice memo app But from the DM you can voice send us a voice memo So make sure you guys do that Just an encouraging word is, is good for people to know And smell the roses while we still can um, I'd love to hop into this What? smell the roses while we still can you know like you hear people say like you know give people roses while they can smell them oh because they die so they're giving us roses for us to smell yeah or like here yeah yeah whatever okay. i mean you Got know, it. Uh -huh. it hits yeah. you in the senses so <laughs> yeah um make sure you guys follow us there <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and hop into this topic what's the big topic this week we can throw in music. You, I was about to say, are you going to throw in some music? Because it's all about it. Dance. Oh. No. How about we... Yeah, I'll throw in music. So can you start singing some of the lyrics so that I can dance? Because I wanted to do a dance, but he wouldn't let me do my dance. He did his dance by himself. He didn't let us be... Oh, okay. And he knows <clears throat> that we are a dancing family. Um, It's been a long time coming. We've been working hard in... Uh, 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 yeah, I forgot the words. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, real quick. Anyway, we're gonna play a clip right now from a video I dropped this week uh, called. Uh, well, the video is irrelevant, but the song is called "Debt Freestyle," and um, yeah. So our big topic is we, we are, are debt, debt free. free. It's been a long time coming. We've been we working hard. Guess it's not for nothing. Even even though it took longer than a while. Than a while. Man, it feel good just to see my wife smile. Really? I guess I'm still on that indio, take no days off. I thought music was a wave, I was way y'all. I asked Jesus make a way out of no way, and He told me faith without words is not pay y'all. I put my hand to the plow, go berserk. Before I had hunger, you know I had thirst, and when I had thirst, I could only get a sip. Now my cup runneth over, and they call that dead church. This my death freestyle. This my death freestyle, this is my death freestyle, this is my death free And look, I'm death free now, and look at me death free I, I feel a little weird saying that because we still got a mortgage to pay, but We still have a mortgage We paid off all of our student loans, and we had got a little bit of money on that credit card But we paid the credit card off too, so yeah. we are debt free Debt free, we, we paid off nobody. We paid off $31,000 in 10 months um, That was our goal from 2018, our big goal was to get out of debt 
and it was something that um we just I mean, for me, I felt burdened by it. Mm -hmm. I was always thinking about it. Always talking um, to me about my college education. Uh, you did get a degree and you work for your degree, so that's awesome. And unlike some people, I used my degree. Why are you saying some people? Like, I didn't. Like I'm not, me? No, it wasn't a stab at you. It was oh, it's like other people. I mean, I'm not trying to stab y'all either, but you know, like. <laughs> yeah, well, like. You, <laughs> you know, know, some people go to college, they get a degree, and then they don't really use their degree. Yeah. I went to college, got a degree. I knew exactly. Well, I was one of those strange people that knew exactly what they wanted to do, but yeah. Yeah, it's rare. And so uh, I had debt that I just. <laughs> I just went to school for a semester, dropped out, and I just had. Like thirty eight hundred dollars. But the crazy thing about your debt is it didn't earn any interest. That, yeah, because I don't understand. Well, that's because it was in collections, and that's what happens. Oh, when your loans get to collections, they don't earn. Yeah, interest? it's like how they gonna <laughs> like you can't pay this. The collection agency I was under, they um, they it didn't get any interest. So wow, yeah. <laughs> don't that's not to say let your loans get into in, uh, collections, y'all. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened there, <laughs> but it is a strategy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we paid off. Um, no, it's not a strategy. I take that back. We we, I mean, we paid off thirty one thousand dollars in ten months, and we used basically Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Yeah. So, what year was that? So Theo was born in two thousand thirteen. Two thousand twelve, we went. So it was two thousand twelve. That we, um, how did we even, oh, I know how we found out about it. I, a oh, girl yeah. that I um, was in Math for America with, she had told me about this thing called FPU. And it was basically about kind of getting your finances in order and paying off your student loans. And she was doing something. She was making moves. And I was like, hey, I want to check this out. So I told Glenn about it. He was down. So we went and we took the class um, at a little church that's in the neighboring city. We started attacking those baby steps. Yeah, so we so we were like, okay, we're gonna get out of debt. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. and, and so, we, go ahead. Sorry. At, at the time, I don't think I was working. Like I had a job, but it wasn't like making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And you were working, you know. I was teaching. Yeah, you were teaching, and we were making okay money, um, but you know, not enough to really put a dent in it. But we actually but paid during, off twelve thousand. During that time, too, I was still getting... So I was a part of this program that I got an extra bonus check for teaching math. Yeah, you, she got a lot of money. Yeah. You, she got a lot of money every year. Okay. And I don't know what happened to that money. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we got that, and that helped, too. But we were able to start... I think we paid off all my Great Lakes loans. Yeah, so I know you students out there know about Great Lakes. Yeah, we paid off twelve thousand. Was it twelve thousand? Yeah, twelve thousand, and then we moved in with Mr. <clears throat> and Mrs. Vines. I remember that. Dang. Yeah, I remember because we were off a of hillside. So, oh yeah, and hillside. But the reason we moved in was because that neighborhood. Glenn was traveling still with music during that time, and one day we came home and we couldn't even get to our house because it was like the SWAT whole team. SWAT team. The SWAT <laughs> with team with guns was, pointing. Yo, at and so this is like the third time that the SWAT, like we just look out the window, and you see the SWATs creeping, yeah. the SWAT team creeping down the road with their guns drawn, like right across the street from our house. Oh my god! So we're sitting like. <laughs> Trying to be out of the line of fire, looking out. Like, looking down and seeing what's going on. Yeah. Um, And it was scary. And I was like, well, I had to go out of town and do, go do music. And Yvette was like, I don't want to stay here by myself. And then there was that old creepy guy that would sit on the other side of the fence. Oh, my gosh. He would sit. And I felt like he was watching. He was just w looking at us. Like, he, you could just see. He would just be out there, no shirt on, just looking. Mm. And I'm like, man, this dude's a creep on the other side. It just was a ghetto, ghetto neighborhood. It was a nice duplex. Like, the in inside was nice. It was place. a trap. Because we probably would have stayed there much longer than we did. Yeah, it was a trap. But yeah, anyway, nice we were living place. in this place, loved the place, had to move out, moved in with some family. Because um, we still had to pay the rent until they found new uh, tenants. Right. So we moved in with some family. It just was a hard season. and <laughs> it, was a, it was a hard season. Yeah. Um, I remember you getting upset because we didn't go anywhere uh, together and we didn't go on vacations. Mm -hmm. um, and you felt like I was going on vacations all the time because I was doing Cause music. Because you got to travel everywhere. I got to travel and do music and you were like, I want to go somewhere. And then we got in this huge argument. And so I remember this. 
you dropped me off on the curb. No, yeah. So listen, you see how dramatic she sounds. Listen, <laughs> is this is dramatic. exactly what That's happened. That's what happened. Okay. We live. Okay. We live at point A, right? <laughs> we get in the car. We're arguing. I drive to point B. Now, that drive was like. <laughs> 10 seconds it was like three houses down <laughs> and she was like get me let me out of the car let me out of the car and Did then I asked to get out yeah you I were like I was put out. and i let her out of the car i was like well bye <laughs> and then she got out and i drove off now she's really like three houses down from where we were at but she called me and was like i can't believe you put me <laughs> out the car made it all dramatic and i'm like you asked to get out would you want me to kidnap you it was crazy. So anyway, we get we just kept we kept having so many arguments over and over and over again for years about what to do with money. That's one of the leading causes for divorce too. Is Didn't money issue? Did we argue issue. a lot over money? I felt like we just had different goals. You know, I don't think we argued a lot over money. I think what we argued about was like my my desire to adventure yeah your your desire to adventure and, and my you didn't want to spend money on that i wanted to wait until after we paid off debt to do that yeah and so <clears throat> in 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 retrospect i wish i would have traveled more listen to y'all young married engaged before we had kids before you have kids because people. It was, um, it's a lot harder now to go travel. Mm -hmm. You know, you never really leave because your heart is still home, you know, because mm -hmm. your kids are here. Um, and even when you're traveling with kids, this is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a nightmare. It's just a lot of inconveniences. Uh, okay. It's a really, really bad daydream. Oh, my gosh. Um, That's so not always true, people. So, yeah. So, we... In, in retrospect, I wish we would have traveled more early on, mm -hmm. uh, but I just didn't understand the value because I, the debt hit us so fast. Um, I didn't know we had as much debt as we did until her dad came over and told us, like, hey, you got student loans coming for you soon. And then we found out. And so anyway. Mind you, I married Glenn straight out of college. So I don't yeah. know. I didn't. Yeah. We can talk about that, too. We can talk about that. So um, for me, I didn't really know. I just knew I had to go to college. Like in high school, I did a lot to apply f to apply for scholarships and all that stuff. Like I got a lot of scholarships, as a matter of fact, to go to school. I went to a private Christian university. So that's like lots and lots of money. Um, but I knew I needed money to supplement the scholarships in order to you know, pay for my education. I didn't really understand debt at that age. It wasn't necessarily something that was explained to me thoroughly that, you know, you'd, I knew I'd have to pay it back, but I didn't know necessarily about interest and all that stuff. So um, I don't know. I don't think I fully understood the weight of my decision to take on student loans. And so when my dad came and he was like, hey, so mind you, we we literally have boxes still stacked up in our um, first place. And he's like, hey, you got your first like student loan. I think he gave us a paper, right? A bill, mm -hmm. a letter that was basically asking for um, me to repay, start repaying, making payments on my student loan. And yeah, it caught me off guard as much as it caught Glenn off guard. Because prior to us getting married, was it before we got married? It was before we got engaged, before I proposed to you, I told you. Oh yeah. I actually think we have a picture from the night that you told me. Anyways, Glenn was like, he came to me with this whole sob story. And he's like, I have something to tell you. And he was just like, really, I could tell it was a huge burden for him to have to expose himself. Yeah, I thought you like weren't going to be with me if I told you I had Oh my this. gosh. This is how much I didn't understand debt. But even if I did understand debt, I would not have tripped on him for a $3,000 or almost $4,000 loan. So he um, came to me and he's like, so I have a student loan that I have to pay back, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Was I eating? You were probably eating something. I know that you were jolly. You were like, oh, that's okay. And I was like, man. It's not like he told me he had AIDS or something. <sighs> that would have been like, but it was like the way he came to me, y'all, it was as though he was about to tell me he had some kind of yeah, HIV, STD. like some kind of something. Yeah. Uh, so I, but it was heavy on me. Yeah. So I thought. <laughs> and at that time I didn't come back and be like, oh, I have. Yeah. I thought that would have been the perfect moment for her to say, <laughs> hey, it's just so you know, I have 60,000 or however much money it uh -huh. was in student loans coming. 
And I would have been like, oh, you know. Would you have married me? I probably would have waited a while. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have waited. Wow. Because I was in this other course. I forget what the name of it. But it was like another like biblical finance course. Uh -huh. And it was telling people to like, yo, pay off your debt before you get married. Wow. And so I didn't want, I wanted to marry you, but I didn't want you to, I wanted you to know everything going in. I was very open book, you know. And so, <laughs> That's it, so if funny. I would have known, I would have waited. How long until I paid it all off? I probably would have helped you pay it off. Especially if I know you were getting how much money a, a year. Yeah, I yeah. Was getting a lot of money. If I knew you were getting that, I'd have been like, yeah, just put all that toward that. That's... Yeah. If I would have known, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. So, anyway, can I say how much you were getting? <laughs> sure. 15000 a year. <laughs> Extra on top of her salary. On top of my salary for five years. For five years. So $75,000. Yeah, that was seventy five. Wow, I could have paid it all off. You could have paid it all off. <laughs> anyway, um, but that but that was the difference between like, I'm on some like delayed gratification. You're, but we also use that money to start, um, to start investing. Paying off that. Oh, investing, yeah. We did. Um, Which so, we pulled those investments out because we needed the <laughs> but money. But we still have the one. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Gee. But anyway, I'm saying that um, I think there's a delay of gratification thing on my side. And you're kind of like, yo, we have one life to live. Let's live it. YOLO. Yeah. But that's not really my philosophy. Right. I mean, but it kind of is, but it's not. I mm -hmm. feel like I have some kind of like, I feel like I, what's the word I'm trying to look for? I don't want to say balance, but I feel like I have YOLO within reason. Okay. Um, you disagree? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I think that. I think when it comes down to it, you, I think you're getting more scruples when it comes to that. <laughs> but I feel like when it comes down to it and like it's a certain hour or it's a certain time, you're just kind of like, I want what I want and I don't care. Right? I don't agree, but okay. Because okay. yeah, there's so much I want. Okay. Well, <laughs> never mind then. Uh, yeah. So anyway, this past <laughs> year, we had set the goal. We're going to pay off that. And uh, this uh, January 10th, we paid off, I guess, $14,000. And so I just want to say, like, I feel like we should go back because we had started FPU in 2012. And then we found out we were pregnant with Theophilus. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of stopped pursuing the baby steps we got as scared. aggressively as we were. Mm -hmm. And I think we were doing that because we got nervous about... Um, paying like we were nervous about putting all of our extra money to debt versus towards saving for a baby or whatever we needed a new car <clears throat> we needed a new car so we also had to get a new car and that's we, we paid off the car to do that yeah. okay we didn't make horror i we did some good things with that money yeah we did with the math for america money the reason i brought up the whole fact that we got pregnant and we felt like we couldn't pursue um, the baby steps as aggressively as we were, I feel like that was a mistake on our part. I feel like we still should have been pursuing it as aggressively as we were because then we, I don't know, we could have been doing a lot more sooner. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So um, to anyone out there who is aggressively pursuing getting out of debt or who's a part of the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University and you're doing all that, if you reach a point um, where you are about to have a baby or some kind of life situation happens i would totally encourage you maybe you have to slow it down but don't stop like we just full-on stop yeah and i think that that was to our detriment a poor decision on our part um because we definitely could have you know been out of debt sooner i think yeah and you know for me like i look back and i'm I really want to be like genuinely happy, but then I think like, man, we could have been did this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I keep going into. But I just want to like celebrate with Joyce now and just be in the moment now, because I am really glad. It's it's like it really genuinely makes my heart glad. If you watch the video that I put out on Monday, then you know that I was dancing and acting a fool, and you know the kids were dancing and we were all we filled up our little uh our little thermometer debt free thermometer thing. Um, and uh, it was, it's, it's like a monumental spot to be in in our family mm -hmm. to be able to just say, like, yo, we are we don't owe anybody any money, you know, besides the house. And so uh, we wanted to share that with you guys to, you know, hopefully inspire you. Um, you know, it's crazy 
you know, so how, how do we pay off the debt? Well, uh, as you guys know, like, you know, sponsored deals, uh, brand deals are pretty much, uh, you know, sometimes the bulk of our money, um, you know, throughout the year, they just don't happen very often. So we decided to put most of the money that we received in brand deals toward, um, all of our debt. So anything we made from Patreon, anything we made that was consistent income, music money, YouTube money was pretty much going to bills and to, you know, further along the business. And then everything after that was going toward debt. Uh, we try not to rely on those big chunks of money. Uh, we try not to live a life way above our means. Um, so at this point, we paid it off. And now what's our next step? Are we talking about the Dave Ramsey steps or our personal steps? Our personal steps. We really need a new car. Yeah. We have, our car is literally at capacity. We have a five-seater mm -hmm. and we have five of us. And with one more child, if you do the math, that's six. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we have how many months? We have until June. So we basically, now it's about five months. We have left. about five months left to get a new, to get not a, a new car to us, but not a brand new car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need a vehicle that will fit us all. Um, and the goal is to pay cash. So honestly, I'm down to wait until even after the baby is gone. We probably won't be going very many. After I the mean, baby's the gone? Prego brain. Yeah. <laughs> until after the baby's out. So, you know. Like, if we don't have it by the time the baby's born, to me, that's not necessarily a big deal as long as we have a car seat for the baby because we don't necessarily plan on going anywhere yeah. you know, too right. soon. So Right. Yeah. Yeah, so we, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, the next step in the baby steps, Dave Ramsey, is to save up three to six months expenses. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I, th I feel like the three to six months expenses in the car are around the same price, you know? Mm -hmm. So maybe we could try to aim for six months mm -hmm. and then just take half of that and buy the car and then, you know, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm just really proud of us. I'm really proud of, um, I know another family that we're doing it. I think Sopa and Anthony mm -hmm. are debt free this year, right? Or they were trying to pay off that. I know that they were working towards it. I'm yeah, they're sure. working toward it. So hopefully, you know, uh, they are part of our graduating class as well. <laughs> uh, shout out to my homie Joe Solomon. He became debt free 2017. Really inspiring. Um, the homie Ruslan and Monette, they went got debt free like a long time yeah, ago. like six years ago or five years ago, something like that. Uh, Ray and Liz mm -hmm. also, and. Uh, we also want to say a big shout out to Anthony O'Neill, who is Yvette's brother, mm -hmm. my brother-in-law. Uh, he works for Dave Ramsey and he, you know, was always willing to give us resources that we needed um, and just things that a lot of pe other people aren't privy to that we just were able to uh, kind of use at, at some points of our life that we really didn't take too much advantage of. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we appreciate just our relationship with our brother um, yeah. for supporting us through this as well. We didn't have a lot of people like cheering against us. I think that's a lot of uh, what happens in society is that you have a lot of people that tell you that debt is good. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of family members uh, or debt is a part of life. It's a way of life. Mm -hmm. We didn't have too many people rooting against us because I think, um, you know, I don't think our people like judge us that like that. Yeah. We have a really good, safe yeah. place to be ourselves, which is great. So we didn't have a lot of opposition when it came to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we do have now is the opportunity to be proof for you mm -hmm. who are walking through this season of life and trying to figure out what's the best reasons uh, to become debt free or pay off your debt. I think financial freedom is, is very important. I think for any of you who want to invest money or like grow your wealth, you have to start out with a net worth. And if you owe money, then your net worth is negative, mm -hmm. what you have, you know? And so right now we are kind of at zero and really happy to be at zero. Mm -hmm. We're not at a place where we're like, oh, you know, cause I, I think I started to say, yo, debt, debt free 2018. People are like, oh, you got money. Like, let me hold something. And I'm like, no, that's debt free. 
you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you know what i mean like let me um but it's a lot there's a lot of like fans who were thinking like oh man you're gonna pay off all that but yeah it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of late nights it's a lot of you know us not seeing eye to eye mm-hmm. um and trying to accomplish the same things that we have uh you know keeping our promises to ourselves mm-hmm. that's really what it is mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really big on that i can't stand bringing promises to myself yeah so you know this next year new car new baby that's what's on the itinerary and a down payment for a home and a down payment for a bigger place yeah so we have a lot we have a lot of goals <laughs> we have a lot of goals you gotta make a lot of money yeah. yeah. Um, and so speaking of that, if you want to support <laughs> us. <laughs> They're like, you just got a debt. Why you need support? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, if you're going to donate somewhere, throw it this way. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, we do. Here's some ways. To... Here's some ways you can support. OK. OK. Yvette is doing a partnership with The Rap Life. This is not a Rap Life rap. But if you go on the rap life and you type in mrs melanin code on the the coupon code you can save 10 percent on any rap they are some beautiful raps on there uh and i love their whole brand their whole team everyone's awesome so check them out that's a way to support us uh also imagine that book bedtime story it's bedtime now this is a, a book that i wrote uh with my friends rj and emily vaguera um it basically talks about uh early on in belief in fatherhood uh you know when i was putting the kids to bed and i made up the song hey buddies it's bedtime now and so it goes through like some of these uh well this one story that i love so much um so it's called uh, it's bedtime now and uh it's the chocolate babies and i want to do a whole line of these uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, and also if you want to receive these podcasts early as well as the video, uh, support us on Patreon. It is basically like an inside circle. It's an inner group of people who support us. You get early content. You get to see things that no one sees. Discount codes to different objects on the website, mm-hmm. and uh, we have a lot more coming to you in that yeah. way. But uh, right now, that's kind of where you can kind of become a little bit closer to us um, as far as being a part of that extended family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, babe, how married are you? Hey, babe, how married are you? No, I asked you first. Babe. Okay. I'm so married that... Okay, so lately... I haven't been feeling like cooking. And so, for example, this week, I ate at a particular restaurant twice. um, And then Glenn treated somebody to lunch there. That was a tax (laughs) write-off. But anyways, we, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, I haven't been feeling like cooking. Tonight, I definitely didn't feel like cooking. But Glenn kind of, you know, spoke to me about the number of times that I've eaten out at this particular restaurant. And so I'm so married that I heard him and that rather than ordering pizza, which is what I really wanted to do tonight, I made dinner. Thank you. It was really good, too. She did something to the broccoli that was crazy. It was crunchy and crispy. I loved it. It was good. It was really good. Thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, babe. Hmm. How married are you? I'm so married that... (laughs) I, you've been looking for your glasses. Oh my god! For like four days, guys. She's been. She's a new glasses wearer. I, she's, and now I'm like scratched on the lens. She's and very I'm looking, irresponsible. I'm like, she's I, a very irresponsible glasses wearer. When I look at her, I just shake my head because it reminds me when I was 15. I first got my glasses, <laughs> and I just did all types of things. Oh that's goodness. like you know you don't put your glasses in your pocket. You don't. She put her glasses in the the pocket of her uh, my overalls overalls. And she kept bending down and dropping them, and they got scratched. It happened twice. It was like, boom. Mm. She put them there, and it goes, clack, 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 clack. Mm-hmm. She picks it up, and she goes, oh, man. And puts them back on the pocket, <laughs> and it goes again. Clack, 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 clack. I did. And then uh, she was like, oh, man, these are scratched. And I was like, it's just a part of life. And so she was, she's was she been missing them for a couple days. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I've literally been missing them, like, my eyes hurt, like I have to just go to sleep or I have a headache or whatever. And the peppermint oil don't help help those headaches. Yeah, so I went into the car 
and I found her glasses in between. Did you go in the car looking for my glasses? No, I went in the car trying to. Um, I had to come in here and take a picture of the thing. <laughs> so I, I went into the car. Oh, you put the car in here? Mm -hmm. Nice. I went to the car and I looked in between the seat and I saw glasses. I brought them to her. She was, she's blind. And so, <laughs> yeah, that's just how married I am. Oh, I feel like I, I helped you out you a lot really that did. way. Oh my gosh. I was trying to figure out how we were going to go out of town with no glasses. Yeah. I was literally going to go to Walmart and be like, I wonder if any of these glasses, because don't they have like yeah, glasses? Yeah, pre-prescription glasses. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, you're really hit and miss. It's really hard to do yeah. that. I was going to try them on until it worked. Mm. You can't just be putting anything on your face, though. We got to take pictures. We got to be in videos. <laughs> you can't just be putting some Walmart brand glasses. I am now, uh, uh, what's it called? Looking like Myrtle Lurko. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, we found the glasses, and so you have to wait until we get back before you can get prescription or whatever. So I think I should just have two pairs of glasses. Like I need another I agree. set of frames. I agree. Glenn has like four or five. Mm -hmm. All rain. Shout out to Rain. <laughs> R A E N glasses are so dope. They're right here in Oceanside. Make sure you check them out. All right, All right. And, and that's, that's just, just how married, married we are. We are.